This video demonstrates a method to monitor the invasion of an endothelial cell monolayer by cancer cells using a real-time electrical impedance-based technique. First, human umbilical vein endothelial cells, referred to as HUVEX, are seated in 16 well E-plates coated with gold electrodes at the well bottom to generate a confluent monolayer. Cancer cells are added, which attach to the HUVEX and invade the HUVEX monolayer, disrupting the endothelial cell junctions. Impedance readings, which depend on the total area of the well bottom covered by cells, are then acquired. The extent of invasion can then be determined based on changes in electrical impedance. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, such as Boydin chamber and matrigel assays, is that the endothelial cell tumor cell interactions more closely mimic the in vivo metastatic process, and the data is obtained in real time and is more easily quantifiable as opposed to endpoint analysis for other methods. Though this method can provide insight into cancer cell invasion, it can also be applied to other systems, such as investigating cell-cell interactions in the immune system. Furthermore, initial phase of experiment where we observe growth of HUVEX cells can be used to evaluate cell proliferation of any cell line without further invasion steps. Demonstrating the procedure will be Syed Rahim, graduate student from my laboratory. All steps of this protocol should be performed under sterile conditions in a tissue culture hood. The Acceligen system used for this experiment is kept permanently in a 37 degrees Celsius 5% carbon dioxide incubator solely dedicated for this instrument. On its first use, the instrument should be left in the incubator for at least 16 hours to equilibrate to the new temperature and humidity environment. Next, prepare the Acceligen E-plate 16 by coating it with 0.1% gelatin for one hour at 37 degrees Celsius. Once the plate has been coated, Wash it once with PBS. Then, add 100 microliters of reconstituted EGM-2 medium. To perform a blank reading to measure background impedance in the absence of cells, place the E-plate in the Acceligence system. On the computer, open the Acceligence software by clicking on the RTCA software icon on the desktop. In the software window, click on the Layout tab and select the wells containing samples. To program the frequency of real-time data acquisition, click on the Schedule tab. Then, click on the Add a Step icon. Sweeps indicates the number of readings, and Intervals indicates the time interval between readings. These are automatically set to 1 and 1.00 minute, respectively. This programs the system to perform a background reading. Click on Add a Step and enter 300 in the Sweeps box and 10 minutes in the Intervals box. This will program the instrument to perform impedance measurements for up to 50 hours. To begin the experiment, click on the Start a Step icon. The background impedance of each well will be measured. After the background measurement has been performed, the window displays the message, ready for next step. Please click Next Step to start. At this time, cells can be added and the formation of a monolayer can be monitored, as described in the next section. The human umbilical vein endothelial cells, or HUVEX, used here are cultured in EGM-2 medium reconstituted with the EGM-2 bullet kit containing growth factors, supplements, and 5% FBS. Cells should be maintained in a 37 degrees Celsius incubator in the presence of 5% carbon dioxide. On the day of the experiment, check the confluency of HUVEX under a microscope. The cells should be a low passage number, preferably no more than 6, and less than 75% confluent. To generate a HUVEC monolayer, harvest the cells by trypsinization. Once the cells have detached from the flask, all traces of trypsin should be removed by centrifugation at 200 G. Following the spin, wash the cells once with PBS. Then, resuspend the cells in reconstituted EGM-2 media to a concentration of 2.5 times 10 to the fifth cells per milliliter. Once the cells are resuspended, Remove the background calibrated E-plate from the Acceligence system, 
and add 100 microliters of the HUVEC suspension to the 100 microliters of EGM2 medium already in the plate. Immediately, place the E-plate in the Accelogen system cell analyzer. Start acquiring impedance readings by clicking the Start Step button in the software window. Allow the endothelial cells to grow. The system will continue taking impedance readings every 10 minutes. HUVEX show a characteristic transient flattening of cell index 4 to 6 hours after seeding, followed by another stabilization after 16 to 18 hours. Hence, it is important to let the cells form a confluent monolayer for at least 18 hours. Once a monolayer has formed, it is time to add the invading cells. In preparation for the invasion assay, prepare the invading tumor cells. Here, osteosarcoma cells are used. Begin by harvesting the cells by trypsinization. Remove all traces of trypsin by spinning the cells at 200 G and washing once with PPS. Following the wash, resuspend the cells to a final density of 1 times 10 to the 5th cells per milliliter in the medium used to grow the tumor cells, such as RPMI or DME medium containing 10% FPS. Pause the experiment by clicking the pause step icon in the software window. Remove the E-plate and aspirate the EGM2 medium from the HUVEC monolayer. Add 100 microliters of tumor cell suspension containing 1 times 10 to the 4th cells. Generally, a ratio of 1 to 2.5 tumor cells to endothelial cells works best for the assay. However, the ratio can be optimized for individual cell lines. Place the E-plate back in the Accelogen system in the incubator. Click on the Continue step to continue taking impedance readings at 10 minute intervals. Monitor the invasion in real time over the next 6 to 12 hours. A drop in cell index will result from the retraction of endothelial junctions and penetration by invading tumor cells. When the experiment is finished, use the Accelogen software to normalize the results to the time of addition of invading tumor cells. The Accelogen software permits normalization to any time point. HUVEX were cultured on the Accelogen system as shown in this video and either K7M2 cells or K12 cells were added following the formation of the monolayer. As shown here, a steep decrease in cell index occurs within a few hours of the introduction of K7M2 cells. K7M2 is a highly metastatic osteosarcoma cell line. These cells express high levels of the cytoskeletal linker protein Ezrin, which accounts for the invasive properties of this cell line. K12 cells, on the other hand, are less metastatic and are unable to penetrate the endothelial monolayer as efficiently as K7M2 cells. This is represented by a less steep decrease in cell index as shown here. The control shown here represents impedance of the HUVEC monolayer in the absence of cancer cells. Experiments were performed in triplicate. After watching this video, you should have a good understanding of how to measure invasion in real time by generating an endothelial cell monolayer and challenging the monolayer with cancer cells. Initial steps of the experiment involving HUVEC cell monolayer formation can be used to evaluate cell proliferation by impedance too.